degree of freedom. This means a molecule can move, a molecule is allowed to move with how many types of motion. How many types of motion? Here is a molecule, it can move in x direction or x direction, y direction and z direction. How many types of motion it can do? Three. In three directions, in three dimensions it can move. So, I will say it has three degrees of freedom. So, this is degree of freedom. In how many dimensions it can move? There is another definition. How many types of motion it can do? So, if this can do a translational motion, rotational motion and oscillatory motion, then it is doing three types of motion and its degree of freedom is again three. So, degree of freedom tells us how many types of motion a molecule can do. And if we want to specify location of that molecule in the space, anywhere, then how many coordinates we have to give as specification. That is, if a molecule is here, how do I inform you? I inform you that this is the origin. It has got x coordinate so much, y coordinate so much, z coordinate so much. How many coordinate I told you? 3. So, its degree of freedom is 3. It has x, y and z, 3 coordinates. Other way I told you, types of motion. It can do translatory motion in x direction, y direction and z direction. So, again degree of freedom is 3, 3 types of motion. So, the number of coordinates required to tell its position and orientation is same as the number of motions it can make and both denote to degree of freedom. Now, suppose I have two atoms in one molecule and these two atoms are what I was talking to you about one atom. Here, I tell you position x coordinate, y coordinate, z coordinate. But if there are two atoms, then these are the two atoms. Now, these two atoms makes one molecule. This molecule, this atom can go here. This will also go with it or it will not go to it. But this can go in this direction. This can go in this direction inside this. So, it has a freedom to go in this y axis. It has a freedom to move in z axis. It is here. This has a freedom to move in y axis. This. It has a freedom to move in z axis. This. Z axis. Does it have a freedom to move in x axis? No because this distance is fixed. This distance is fixed. Therefore, it cannot move here. So, this is not a freedom for it to move in x direction. This one, this can move in this direction, this direction, two directions, but there is one relation between them because of that one relation both will have to move together here or together here. Independently, they cannot move. So, how many movement are restricted? One movement is restricted. See, this y, z, 1x, 3. This y, z, but not x because this has to move with it. So, that one motion is restricted. This x, both have to move together. They cannot make it separate. 
this can make a separate y and z this can make a separate y and z so 1 2 3 4 5 but when this is going here this is also going there it has no freedom to go here and there so that one restriction is there one restriction so how many freedom it has three three and one restriction minus one so it has five freedom five freedom of motion this is my definition if there is a single atom then it can move in x direction it can move in y direction and it can move in z direction how many freedom three freedom if there is a molecule which is having three atoms this is one relation this is one relation this is one relation they have to maintain this relation it has got three freedom as such being alone it can have three it can have three total there are three into three nine freedoms should be there but nine are they cannot enjoy nine because how many relation they have to maintain three relation and they have to go together so every one will have to part with its one freedom that is restriction three restrictions are there so what is their degree of freedom six again co2 c o o this is the restriction how many restrictions are there two it has got three freedom it has got three freedom it has got three freedom every single has three so three into number of atoms n minus restriction so this is three into three minus two seven this is freedom how many number of freedom it has answer it has seven number of freedoms what co2 this is something else h2o h is here one o is here one o is here this is six or you can say uh, it is something other which has got three atoms so in this way the number of motion it can have every one has three freedom now this is what is meaning of the freedom also see it from the other angle how many motions one can make we have done it how many motions one can make now there are different type of motions also if we calculate what are the six type of motions it can make what are the seven type of motions it can make can it make seven types of motion answer is yes it can make it can the whole atom can move in x direction y direction and z direction whole atom then if this goes here then it can make a circular motion in x direction circular motion in y direction but it cannot make a circular motion in this direction because this is the line okay then it can make oscillatory motions so the total type of motion it can make is seven linear plus rotatory plus oscillatory <coughs> all type of motions this molecule make how many types seven types and i calculated by this formula so the number of freedom the degree of freedom degree of freedom i will write two definitions here these are the two definitions of degree of freedom number of motions 
a molecule of gas is making is its degree of freedom, number of motions. Number two, the number of coordinates required to specify position and orientation of molecule in space and these two are equal and this degree of freedom we can calculate by the formula 3n minus r where n is what number of atoms n atomicity whether one molecule contain one atom two atom three atom r independent relations relations independent according to this if we have one molecule of helium 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 is a monoatomic gas so it has one atom per molecule what is its degree of freedom how many type of motions it has so it is only one it has three degrees of freedom it can make three types of motion and if we want to specify its location we have to tell you only x y z so if we put here n atomicity one one does it have relation with any other atom no so that is zero so this is 3 into 1 minus 0 that is 3 so degree of freedom for helium is 3 same is for neon argon and all monoatomic gases now for diatomic this is monoatomic for diatomic for diatomic put 2 here 2 3 is a 6 minus there is relation that is one relation between them so 2 3 is a 6 minus 1 that is 5 so this is n2 o2 h2 and most of the gases which are diatomic are having degree of freedom equal to 5 triatomic there are two types of triatomic one is linear and one is non-linear and we have done both if this is linear the degree of freedom is 7 if it is non-linear the degree is 6 so I write it here triatomic linear the degree of freedom is 7 and non-linear the degree of freedom is 6 so please remember the two definitions of degree of freedom and this and after this we can study where to use this degree of freedom and that is law very famous law law of equipartition of energy that we will do in the next lecture thank you